Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my tutorial. And today I have a problem in Apple Electricity. This is a bridge circuit problem from Norton's theorem. So you say you should use the Norton's theorem to find the current in the 3 ohm resistor connected between the point A and B of the circuit below. So there is a 3 ohm resistor here between the A and B. So you have to find the current through using the Norton's theorem, but this is a bridge circuit. So first of all, you have to find the Norton's current, and in finding the Norton's current, you have to redraw the circuit and remove the 3 ohm resistor and replace it with a short circuit Norton current. So that is I n. So from here, we know that the source 10 volt will produce a total current I. I was split into I1 and I2 at this junction, and we introduce our I n. So you can see that at this junction, I n plus I1 will produce the current that will pass through the 2.4 that is i1 plus i n and at this point 2 i2 was split into i n and the current that will pass through so here will be i2 minus i n once you know the current through the resistors you can use the catch off voltage law so that you get taking this loop this first loop let me take this loop we are going to get 10 to be equal to the voltage drop here 3 i2 the voltage here 5 multiplied by I2 minus IN and the voltage drop here, 3I. So when you simplify this, you get this as our first equation. And taking our second loop, we are going to get this loop moving up like that as our second loop. So that one we're going to get 10 cos 3I1 plus 2.4, the current through, then plus 3I. So when you simplify this, your second equation, then finally, we we'll take this loop. We we'll take this loop. So here we get 3i1 minus 3i2. Then here is 0 so equals 0. So solving this, we get i1 to be this, i2 and i n to be 130 or 453 ampere. So this is our i n value. Now let's go and find the Norton resistance r n. So to find r n, you have to redraw the circuit and remove the 3 ohm and replace it with and Norton's resistance so here you short circuit the power supply which is a voltage source here then from here you have to find the total resistance across these two terminals so you open the terminals up you move this one this way so when you move it this way you get something a and b like this then you will know that from a to c you have a resistor so you introduce a point c then a to c then A to D, you introduce a point D, A to D, which is 3, then C to D, C to D, that is from C, from here to D, you meet this 3 resistor, 3 ohm resistor, that is C to D, 3 ohm, you have C to B, just 5 ohm, you have B to D, once you get this, you apply the delta star transformation, since none of them are in series, no, in parallel, so from here, you have A, B, C, so, you find a value for A, value for B, and value for C. So value for A is 3 times 3 all over the sum of all the resistors. There is it. You also have the value for B and the value for C. So from here, we move ahead to redraw the circuit. We have this. We get this and this being in series. We simplify this and this being in series. So we redraw the circuit as this. So we find the total resistance as the RN. So from here you will draw and find your Norton's equivalent resistance and you find your I. So you realize that your I is 0 0.147 amperes. Thank you. And this is the end of the video. So this is the simple way you can go about a bridge circuit. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe and share.